Welcome back to Living Green with Baby and our Clean Energy series. My today's guest is Jeffrey Perlman. Welcome. Thank you. He's a founder and director of Bright Power, a company that specializes on energy saving solutions for businesses as well as homes. And he'll be talking about current options for both apartment and home renters and owners to optimize your energy efficiency and therefore save money. So at Bright Power, we focus on cities, especially apartment buildings. There are a number of simple things that apartment dwellers can do to save energy. One of them is to change your light bulbs. Many of us have seen those twisty ice cream cone shaped compact fluorescent light bulbs. Those uh, really do save energy. They use about 25% or 30% of the energy of a regular incandescent light bulb. We now see some new technologies like LEDs that are coming out. They're much more expensive, but they can last a lot longer and they also can dim and do some things that the CFL or compact fluorescent light bulbs can't do. Um, all of those are good options for really saving energy, especially in those lights that you use all the time. People may not be as familiar with some of the fluorescent technologies, but many of us in our kitchens or other spaces have uh, long tube type fluorescent bulbs. And those tubes actually come in two different varieties. There's the fatter tubes, the T12s, and then there's the skinnier tubes like T8s and, and T5s. Um, the skinnier tubes tend to be more efficient. If you see your bulbs flicker, then um, there's, there's a good chance that those are the old magnetic ballasts use about 20 or 30 percent more energy than the more current modern electronic ballasts. Another great thing to do um, for, for apartments is to make sure that your appliances are, are modern and, and up to date. We know that many of us who rent, say the refrigerator comes from the owner and so we can't uh, necessarily replace that, although sometimes you might be able to advocate to your uh, landlord and get them to replace it for you. But there's options for some of the other things in your apartments. Air conditioner is typically something that you supply and an Energy Star air conditioner is much more efficient than a, than a non-Energy Star air conditioner. And in general for appliances you want to be looking for Energy Star. Another secret thing that uses a lot of energy, especially in apartments where we don't have that many other things, are the cable boxes. What you'll see is the, the cable boxes or those TiVos are on all the time and uh, even when you're not watching TV they're using as much energy as when, when you are watching TV. So I know if you unplug it, then when you plug it back in, it takes a long time to run through all of its uh, its, uh, its its reprogramming. So I know that can be difficult, but you know, uh, you definitely want to limit the number of those devices that are plugged in and running all the time. We hear much more about energy savings and about water savings right now, although that's starting to change. Water costs are pretty much going on a straight trajectory upward. Energy sort of bounces around. You should look at the water fixtures, especially the, the shower heads and faucet aerators. Those little things that are screwed inside your your faucet. The older versions of those are maybe two and a half gallons a minute, sometimes as much as three or four gallons a minute if you have something before the recent regulations came in. There's some great stuff that's uh, one to two gallons per minute. It makes sense to buy a, a, a good, called engineered flow shower head, um, because if you buy a cheap one, you won't enjoy it. But I can tell you that for my wife and my, and my baby, I installed a low flow, great shower head from Niagara, and it feels like there's more water than some of the shower heads that use more water. So um, you can actually have a really pleasant experience. One of the things about energy efficiency, one of the great things about energy efficiency is not only is it better for you and better for the planet, but you can also save money. A typical apartment, say in New York City, uses about 300 kilowatt hours a month, and a kilowatt hour in New York costs about 20 cents. Um, if you do all of these efficiency things, you can easily save 30%, which equates to on order of 20 or 30 dollars a month. So that's real savings. And remember that it's important to save energy, not just to save money, um, but because it's good for the planet and it's good for our children and for future generations.